Tonight, take a moment to relax with a Dr. Teal's Soak. Pure Epsom salt with essential oils. Relax your body and calm your mind so you can feel your best tomorrow. Push yourself, then soak in Dr. Teal's to recharge sore muscles so you can push harder tomorrow. Soak in Dr. Teal's to relax the body and calm the mind. At Watson's, we're staying strong. And staying strong means staying safe. That's our mission for our customers and our team. Every day before work starts, we have complete health checks to make sure we're healthy and ready to help. Staying safe means staying clean. Bago pa man kami magbukas at may pumasok, the store is thoroughly disinfected. Naglilinis kami at nagdi-disinfect every hour hanggang closing. Staying safe means protecting our customers. Lahat ng pumapasok, gumagamit ng disinfectant mats. Meron ding temperature check at hand sanitizer para extra safe. Staying safe means keeping a little distance. Kaya naman, naglagay kami ng guides sa loob ng store to help customers shop while maintaining the 2 meter social distancing guidelines. Staying safe means keeping the testers clean. We will assist customers if kailangan nila mag-try and mag-swatch ng makeup using a swatch pad for sanitation purposes. Customers can still try the hair tools displayed inside the store. The tools are sanitized before and after use of the customer. Mayroon ding installed na protective shields, where we also offer contactless payment options. Nagsusanitize kami ng aming mga kamay after every transaction. We're staying safe. So you can stay strong. So you can stay beautiful. So, so you can, can keep, keep looking, looking good and feeling great. great. At Watson's, we're staying strong. And staying strong means staying safe. That's our mission for our customers and our team. Every day before work starts, we have complete health checks to make sure we're healthy and ready to help. Staying safe means staying clean. Bago pa man kami magbukas at may pumasok, the store is thoroughly disinfected. Naglilinis kami at nagdi-disinfect every hour hanggang closing. Staying safe means protecting our customers. Lahat ng pumapasok, gumagamit ng disinfectant mats. Meron ding temperature check at hand sanitizer para extra safe. Staying safe means keeping a little distance. Kaya naman, naglagay kami ng guides sa loob ng store to help customers shop while maintaining the 2 meter social distancing guidelines. Staying safe means keeping the testers clean. We will assist customers if kailangan nila mag-try and mag-swatch ng makeup using a swatch pad for sanitation purposes. Customers can still try the hair tools displayed inside the store. The tools are sanitized before and after use of the customer. Mayroon ding installed na protective shields, where we also offer contactless payment options. Nagsusanitize kami ng aming mga kamay after every transaction. We're staying safe. So you can stay strong. So you can stay beautiful. So you can keep looking good and feeling great.
everyone! Hi viewers and welcome to Watson Shop Live! I am here at my favorite Watson store and I know marami sa inyo na mimiss na pumasok sa inyong mga favorite Watson store to shop. And that's why today I'm bringing you along with me. Hi again! I am Bez Diolata, your host for Watson Shop Live. And guys, in line with this month's mental health awareness, we have come up with a special segment just for you. And this is called Watson Shop Live Talks. And we will be tackling mental health. And this is just for you. And to ensure that you know we have all the information in place, we will be having a doctor with us in the show and a very special segment with no other than Mr. Pure Energy, Mr. Gary Valenciano with his son, Gab Valenciano, on our show today. It's really going to be an exciting, eventful, and educational show. So just relax, sit back, and learn with us. But before all of that, I know you're excited to join me inside the Watson store so that you can see how safe it is, how we keep everything safe and in order with all our protocols to ensure that you're gonna have a fun time and safe time inside the Watson store. So tara, join me! Hello! Alright, alcohol check. Thank you! And basket check. So tara, let's go! Hmm, which way? Here! Right! Here we are! Nagus, so... Our mini... Normal... And super! Alright! Oh, here! Dr. Teals, this is what I'm looking for because they're on a 25% discount until November 1. So, if I were you, I'm gonna grab all my favorites from Dr. Teals. Alright, we have all of that. Essential oils and syempre ang soaking solution. Guys, sobrang sulit talaga. Tingnan nyo naman, ang bigat niya. So don't forget, naka 25% discount on Dr. Teals all the way to November 1. Tara, let's go! We have a lot of giveaways today just for you. So all you have to do is share this live and tag three of your friends in the comment section down below. And when you do tag them, don't forget to use the hashtag WatsonsPH and hashtag SmileInsideOut in all your shares and comments. And guys, you can also comment down below how you can take care of your mental health at huwag din kalimutan to add the hashtags Hashtag Watson's PH and hashtag smile inside out in all your comments. You know why guys? Because we're gonna give away a lot of prizes and giveaways to a lot of lucky winners. And this are from La Deuce, Dr. Teals, and drumroll please, Watson's gift certificate. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and share, like, and tag all your friends right now. Crush your workout, then soak in Dr. Teal's to help speed recovery time. Relax your body and calm your mind with a Dr. Teal's soak so you can feel your best tomorrow. Watson's is really passionate in starting conversations on movements and advocacies that matter, especially during this time. And we are so thrilled to bring you Shop Live Talks. And our episode for today is Mind You, Taking Our Mental Health to the Frontline. And to those who just tuned in, welcome back. I am Bez Diolata, your Shop Live host for today. And with me is our guest doctor, Dr. Joan. Hi, Dr. Joan. Hello. How are you today? I am so good. Thank you very much for having me, Mam Bez. <laughs> Thank you so much also for gracing this event, Doc. Thank you. You know, Doc, Thank you. mental health is such an, a big topic today, right? 
it's a usual conversation that we hear in a lot of topics. And yes. Doc, because you're here, I would like our viewers also to know, and if you can share with us, what is mental health and why is it so important? Yes, it's really very important because according to the World Health Organization, yeah. Mambez, there is no health mm -hmm. without mental health. So it's a holistic. It's a holistic mm. approach when we talk about health. And when we say mental health, it has four elements. Po, uh -huh. no? So these four elements, when we talk of mental health, right. are number one, an individual knows his capabilities. His, uh, he is able to navigate okay. through the normal stressors of life. He's able to cope with those. Number three, the individual is able to work productively mm -hmm. and fruitfully. And number four, the individual is able to make a contribution to the wow. community. So, so, apat na elements yun, wow. no? When we talk about mental health. Right. And I also want to know, what are the common types of mental health issues or illnesses, right? Concerns yes. that we should be aware of, lalo na during this, you know, pandemic, during this time. Yes. During this pandemic, Mambez, it's really... It's really a very challenging time uh -huh. for all of us. It's really extraordinary. And that's why there is that sense now of uh, having that loss of control right. over a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Parang wala tayong control over what can happen tomorrow, the next week, the next month. Mm -hmm. And because of this feeling of uh, loss of control, it's very important that we acknowledge Now we can really feel stressed. Right. We mm -hmm. can feel anxious. Anxious meaning nangangamba, maraming takot, uh -huh. na marami tayong mga uh, kinakatakutan about the virus, mm -hmm. about catching it, about um, bringing the virus to our homes and baka mahawaan natin no, right. kasama mm -hmm. sa bahay. And also, some, especially for those who are in self-isolation mm -hmm. or for those in mandatory quarantine for two weeks, they can feel that uh, feeling of loneliness, right. now, which can be a risk factor for that feeling of uh, depression mm -hmm. and anxiety or trauma. Doc, my next question yes. is, how do we detect na meron mental health issue ang isang tao? Mm -hmm. Ano po ang possible warning signs or symptoms? And what do we need to do if we are personally experiencing it? Or kunyari, Doc, we see these warning signs diba, and uh, symptoms, uh, sa mga kaibigan natin, sa mga kapamilya natin, mga kasama natin sa bahay. Yes. So, yung mga nasabi natin kanina, those were the more common, no? mm -hmm. the symptoms like a sleeping pattern has been affected, eating patterns can also be affected, etc. Yeah. Uh, the cognitive processes can also be affected, but kasi pwede normal lang yun. Mm -hmm. na? Those can be normal reactions or symptoms. Right. But ang tatlong signs mm -hmm. of red flags na, na? like right. uh, now we really need to monitor for are first, if these symptoms become too excessive mm -hmm. and prolonged, meaning matagal. Mm -hmm. Parang, parang sa, su, ano na siya, no? maglalast na siya for about two weeks. Wow. So okay. tumatagal na every day you feel like crying, you feel mm -hmm. like ayaw mo nang pumasok sa trabaho, you feel na wala ka ng gana sa mga bagay-bagay. So, kung prolonged and excessive. Mm -hmm. Number two is kung nakaka-apekto na siya in our daily mga right. activities. Okay. Na? Daily activities, especially self-care. Mm -hmm. kung, mm -hmm. kung napapabayaan na natin ang ating self-care, like even taking a bath mm -hmm. becomes too much oh. of a pr problem already. And then, uh, we become more, uh, there will be more absences right. from school, from work. Uh -huh. And ang pinakahuli, and which is really something that we need to monitor for, for us to be able to prevent it, okay. is if it comes to that point when an individual feels too hopeless uh -huh. of the situation already and he or she will come to think about doing something to hurt himself right. or hurt other mm. people. So there is that uh, threat already to one's safety and security. So uh, going back to your question, Mambev, um, ang very, Mambez, ang very important when we see, you know, when we observe all of these um, warning signs right. sa ating mga kasama sa pamilya, sa bahay, mm -hmm. it's really important to we reach, we, we reach out. Yeah, no? We okay. reach out, we tell them, we show them that uh, we are here right. to help them mm -hmm. and that no one should go through this alone. No? Even yung mere fact lang na we listen, mm -hmm. make them feel na anytime they want to talk to us, come to us para pag-usapan, mm -hmm. ano man yung mga nararamdaman nila, let us make them feel that, right. that we are always there 
to give them that unconditional love and support. Right. Pero kung tayo naman mismo mm. ang nakakaranas nito, no? napapansin natin na ay parang two weeks na akong absent sa trabaho, uh-huh. two weeks na akong hindi na nakapfunction properly. Please remember that help is available. Mm. No? And it starts really with the support system. Very important. Lagi kong sinasabi yun to those under my care, no one should go through these difficult situations alone. And it's also important pag tayo pala ang kasama sa bahay. Let us avoid mga words na, mm. yun nga, no? as mentioned kanina, baka they might ano pa, no? yeah. pull Actually, away yes, from us. Exactly. For example, oh, uh, arte-arte lang yan. Mm. Oh, drama-drama mo lang yan. Kaya, kasi ayaw mong pumasok, tamad-tamad okay. pumasok. Please, please, let us avoid mga, right. mga statements like that because really, these are valid emotions. Mm. These are true emotions. And uh, these are really, na, very, uh, ano sila, na, these are highly treatable uh, medical health concerns yes. with high recovery rates. So these right. are true medical problems. Yes. All right. Now, Doc, of course, you know, we want to do, what we want to do is really empower our viewers to take the conscious choice and care for their mental health. Yes. Here in Watsons, we are promoting three ways to help them with this. The first one is get active. Yes. The second is to think positive. Mm-hmm. And the third one is to love yourself. Correct. Yun yung mga tatlo namin, Doc. So, Doc, can you share why being active is important? And how can it improve our ones, uh, how can it improve our mental health? Yes. Uh, any form of physical activity, ma'am mm-hmm. Any form of physical activity like going to the gym, yes. exercise, dancing, yoga, uh, stretching mm. even. Uh, but any form can boost the levels of happy hormones called endorphins. Yes. And definitely, it can also improve with the blood circulation, especially circulation of blood to our brain. Yeah, oh, diba? okay. Para mas, we will get that clarity uh-huh. and uh, our cognitive processes will be better okay. and become more focused. It makes us feel energetic, alive, alert, enthusiastic. Yes, yes. I like that. Alam mo, Doc, mm-hmm. ako during this quarantine talaga, what I'm making sure no when yes. i wake up in the morning like just stretch ako and Correct. i like what you said because i notice pag nag stretch ako in the morning may clarity talaga yes. na ma- mas naging clear yung mga gusto ko mangyari Correct. Yun, yun. and i feel happier yes yun. because so, of the endorphins yes tama happy i really love that happy hormones and because we all have that eh. it's it's really part inherent yes. in us and we need to boost it Okay, yeah. Doc. Mm-hmm. Noted talaga. More e- more stretching for me. Yeah. Now, Doc, may I ask naman about, you know, loving yourself and mm-hmm. also thinking positive. How does these two factors contribute to one's holistic wellness? Grabe. These, mm. uh, these factors are really intertwined. Okay. There is an interplay between physical, mm. mental, and social well-being. It really starts with loving ourselves. Uh-huh. Loving ourselves meaning self-care. Yes. We ako. do things mm. that which make us feel good and yes. happy. So let's find our own stress outlets now which would uh, make us feel good. And when we do those, we feel na, na we've achieved something yeah, good by okay. the end of the day. So now, ang dami kong na- naririnig, nakikita. Uh, a lot of us are rediscovering uh-huh. our talents and skills. Yes. That's part of self-love. Uh-huh. So if you feel happy painting, drawing, yeah. dancing, yung iba naman, they come up no, with mga... Um, uh, they take care of pets, uh-huh. of plants. Yes, plants. plants. Daming All plantita of these, ngayon. Yes, All so. of these can actually make us feel good and it, it gives more meaning and purpose to our lives especially when we take care of living things no? like mm, pets and yes, plants so exactly. all of these can really help uh, again loving our, ourselves means that uh, please let's not be guilty mm-hmm. when we feel all of these emotions anxiety frustration anger uh, these is not these are not signs of a weakness of mm-hmm. our character so it's definitely okay not to feel okay during this time of pandemic. All of these emotions are normal, yes. given this abnormal situation, which mm-hmm. is the pandemic. Okay. Wow. You know, I really learned a lot from our session today, and I encourage everyone to dig deeper and find out more about mental health so that you can support yourself and others in promoting the value of taking our mental health to the front line. It truly, truly feels great to know that it's okay 
to seek help. Di ba, Dok? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also to ask for support. So yes. those things are very important. And for those who need any form of help, we will be flashing the numbers that you can call. And I'm sure na beaten kayo guys. So stay tuned dahil dahil marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. Soak in Dr. Teal's to relax the body and calm the mind. In lieu with the Mental Health Awareness Month, I do hope that you guys and everybody who's watching at home learn from that. But wait, we still have a special segment for you. And of course, we will be graced by no other than Mr. Pure Energy, Gary Valenciano, and his son, Gab Valenciano, for our next segment. You know what, guys? Ten lucky winners will be receiving our giveaways today! No smell, no rashes, and no stains with Laduce. Shemper, we all want you to feel fresh during our period. And these tampons are perfect for on-the-go women who are balancing their active lifestyle and their career. As you can see, for those with the mini, for the mini tampons, this is for light menstruation. And then for our normal tampons, this is for moderate flow. And for the super, is for our heavy flow. So these tampons, all of this, all three of them, are made of highly absorbent materials to protect you for 6 to 8 hours. Ganun siya kahaba. Alright? And what's great about this is that it will make you feel fresh and comfortable during your period. These products are also free of chemicals to avoid irritation and rashes. Plus, it's 100% biodegradable and has, this is amazing guys, no applicator and making it friendly for the environment. So thank you so much Laduce for this. Nako guys, one winner will be getting three boxes of Laduce tampons plus, di ba? My 2000 worth of Watson's gift certificate ka pa. And for our Love Yourself giveaway, Dr. Teals will be giving away their lavender range. Guys, buong lavender range ito to three lucky winners plus again, 2,000 worth of Watson's gift certificate to each winner. Sabi nga ni Doc kanina, it's important to have a space in our home where we can just be with ourselves and relax. So taking time for self-care both physically and mentally has always been very important, especially during this time. And this is why this Lavender Range from Dr. Teos is the perfect regimen for spa-like experience at home to help you calm your mind, reduce stress, and all that body pains. Here we have Dr. Teos Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution with Lavender. All you have to do is just pour this under warm water to soak away those sore muscles. Then, as part of your shower or bath routine, use their body wash to refresh you as well. And it does not end there because you can also add the body scrub to specifically exfoliate and remove rough and dry areas on your skin. This is actually really, really good. After you step out of your shower or bath, use their body oil, and here it is, that absorbs quickly into your skin. You know what? Just a little of this oil goes a long way to seal in that moisture. Then, for additional moisture, Apply Dr. Teal's Body Lotion. Diba? Ang saya. And finally, they also have the Aluminum Free Deodorant with Lavender to leave your skin smelling and feeling great all day. Ang perfect, diba? For all your much-needed me-time. Okay? And of course, dito sa Watsons, hindi pa yan natatapos because think positive dahil meron pa tayong anim na winners who will get to have 2,000 worth of gift certificate each? Grabe, and dami mo mabibili with the 2,000 worth of GCs from Watsons. Para naman, guys, makabalik na kayo dito sa Watsons to shop. Ang exciting, di ba? All you have to do again is to comment in the comment section how you take care of your mental health. And don't forget to add the hashtag WatsonsPH and hashtag SmileInsideOut in all your shares and comments, okay? Don't forget that, guys! Now, 
let us join the movement, reach out to more people, raise awareness on mental health, and be compassionate with one another. Guys, up next is our special segment with Mr. Pure Energy, Mr. Gary Valenciano and his son, Gab Valenciano. So guys, stay tuned. Hello to all the uh, Watson's Shop Live viewers. I'm Gary Valenciano. And I'm Gab Valenciano. And we're here to share some insights on mental health in celebration of Mental Health Awareness Month. It's actually really important to have uh, a perfect synergy. Not even perfect, but synergy between every part of who you are. You know, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, you know, all of these things work together. So when one of them is kind of, you know, kind of at that state of not really being where it has to be, everything else kind of gets affected. It gets affected. So like, for example, if you're physically not happy with your, with your physical state, that'll start to mess up your mental state and telling yourself, oh, I'm not, I don't look good, I'm not good enough. And then emotionally, it starts to drag you down. So it is very important to have all of those three or all of those elements of, your, of yourself intact. There are times when people focus more on the physical. You know, because that's what people see, and first impressions always last. But um, Gabriel is right. It's very, very important to kind of create a balance. But I'm not saying that we have it all together, because I think everyone struggles at one point or another in their lives. There are things that go on in our lives that we don't show others. And these are the things that need to be balanced out. And how do you do that? Well, you meet the right people and you share what you're going through with the right people who can help you out. But um, it's an ongoing journey, I think, that everyone needs to go through and, and is going through, especially now during this season of the pandemic. But the importance of making, of even striving to keep everything in balance is something that I think everyone must do. As a parent, I think it is very important, very, very important that the contact between the parent and the child uh, is is something that can assure the child that no matter what happens, the parent will be there. Okay, um, it is never uh, it is never to be used as an excuse for the mistakes that the child might make. But when the parent is there to encourage, to remind, to uplift, to uh, in our case uh, to to feed the child with the word of God, which may not take effect immediately. But it's like planting good seed on good soil. You know, you later on produce good fruit. It is essential and very important that, um, that the parent does not only stay in contact, but shows the, gen the, the sincere concern over the welfare uh, of the child. And uh, Gabriel, you know, is one person who can call me at any time, you know, at four or five in the morning. And if he needs me to go there, I'll be there. But every parent needs to be like that because you'll never know when their child's going to need you the most. And many times when they're struggling um, up here, you know, um, no questions about what's here. But when it happens up here, it's probably the time that they need you the most. So it's really tough for me to tell people, oh, this is the way, you know. Um, so I just tell people to, to find that circle. Uh, it could be your friends, it could be a teacher, it could be uh, even family, it could be whatever it is. Uh, number one, of course, would be God. But um, to find that circle and to be able to to kind of reach the mountain top with them. Because um, I, I, I personally cannot face certain things alone. Um, and I acknowledge that and I accept that. And it doesn't make you weak. It just makes you different. It just makes you a little more, you know, unique. Um, and so in that sense, you know, that's the way I'm able to, um, to, to move forward is to, I run to my family and they're, they're always there. Like my dad said, they're always there no matter what. And it could be a simple, hey dad, you know, you don't even need to talk about anything. You just say, pray for me. Um, and it goes a long way. So one other thing about uh, mental health, especially here in the Philippines, is that it's not fully embraced yet. 
So mm. when you start talking about, you know, seeking professional help, all of a sudden there's this stigma that you're, you know, kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, when people say that I'm seeing a shrink, oh, what really? What 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 are you? Is there anything wrong with you? I'm like, no no no. He's there to help guide me, in terms of you know the science behind it. Um, in terms of, but in my case, I'm very blessed that I have a really amazing psychiatrist who understands, who knows my family. Um, but I think you know that's one of the things that scares a lot of people is once you start seeking and and thinking even about professional help, all of a sudden there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with everyone, you know. And you know whether it's seeking help from God, seeking help from your family, seeking help from doctors. There is going to be something a little bit off. We're not perfect people, um, but mental health right now is is very it's it's a very sensitive topic. But it is to me a blessing that I found someone who's a professional, and I'm very proud about this. You know, I, I don't, I really don't mind if people say, "Oi, balio ka na ba?" or "Crazy ka na ba?" Because you know, you have a psychologist or psychiatrist. It, my life has gotten better when I met him. My life has gotten better every time I talk to him, and um, it I encourage everybody out there if it gets to that point where you really don't understand what's going on. Because even my family didn't understand what was going on mentally in my mind, and We needed someone to put all the pieces together and say, "Okay, this is not just what the science says, but this is what your mind is going through," and and it really does help. Um, I'd like to add on to that also. His his doctor actually said something really that struck me and that I'd like to share with you. When he talked to Gab, he says, "Gab, there's nothing wrong with your mind. There may be something that needs to be fixed up with your brain. What's the difference here?" Because there are people who have excellent minds, um, excellent brains, but very shrewd minds. And they don't have any mental health problems, but still, the way they think is, is, is the kind that hurts other people. It's like having a perfect heart, but the way you feel, the way you, the way you treat other people. Yeah, that's right. So what he said was, Gab, your mind, there's no problem. The, the intentions of your mind and your heart, they jive. It's the brain. Mm. So if maybe for some of you out there, that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Whether it's taking medications and all, the doctors are not just going to give you something and say, well, that's all we have. No, science has progressed through the years that they can really balance. It's like in my case, the diabetes, the hypertension and all. I have to be careful with how I'm taking my medication. Same with Gab, same yeah. with everybody out there who may have a condition with something else. The doctors are out there Uh, to really try and help you live the best life that you can, uh, despite the challenges up here. Uh, so yeah, you know, do not, do not. I, I stand with Gab. Do not look at yourself as well. Wow, now I have to go to the doctor. You know, if you get into an accident and you break your leg or break your arm or your shoulder, you're gonna have to go and see a doctor. But it doesn't mean that you're forever going to look at yourself as somebody who can't walk. Or somebody who can't move, the doctors are out to help, and uh, I I stand with him in saying, go and seek professional help, not just help, but professional help. The people who know the difference between the mind, the brain, and what needs to be addressed in order to give you the best life possible. And one last thing, it's also very, um, it's also very crucial that you get the right help because I know a lot of stories that. You know, with trying to do good, you did more damage, mm. and so you know, because you're now you're you're giving advice, you're giving, you're getting, you're getting help from people based on their opinion and based on their experiences, which is not actually structurally correct. Um, it's kind of like asking advice from from a friend that that has never been through whatever it is you're going through, and that person's reacting based on whatever he's reading or whatever he feels in his own, and when he starts giving you all this advice, you're now filled with You know all these opinionated, you know, um, things, and you're, you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, okay, 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 great, okay." And then the next thing you know, it it's just kind of like dragging you down even further. So, when it when it comes to seeking professional help, there's no bias, you know, and he just tells you what he feels, not feels, what studies show is wrong, and gives you a pathway to get to where you want to get to. And it has worked for me. It has worked wonders for me and my family as well. In an exam, when you have an exam, when we were students, okay, 
you could not take the exam unless you studied about the subject that you were meant to pass. And if you fail, you can't go to anybody and say, Grabe, I failed because you'll be asked, did you study? And if you say no, then it's your failure. So in the same way, I may not have the mental challenges that Gab has, but I need to study about it so that uh, if ever there comes a time and there have, there have been moments where he needs either me or his mom, we both know what to do. And if I may not know enough about it, Anjali, his mom, my wife, knows about it. And if there are things that she doesn't feel, doesn't know how to approach Gab for something, she'll let me know. And many times I do, I probably I know what how to respond to his particular challenge because I studied a little bit about it. Um, so it's very important that if you want to pass this kind of challenge, you may not pass all, but you may not also fail many if you learn to study more about it. Yeah. And also, um, I, always, I always tell a lot of people this, is you have to be well-educated about what you want to be educated about, which mm. is going online and understanding what is good and what is bad. You know, I think we live in the, you know, people ask, what's the answer to mental health? And I think the solution is also the answer, which is, I, I mean, I think the, the solution is also the problem, which is, you know, there is so much information out there that is readily available. The problem is we just don't know which where to focus our mm. energy. Instead, I follow accounts that, you know, uplift me and empower me in the right way. So it's very important to know where to focus your energy, really. If you're struggling with mental health issues, it does not mean that you're a bad person. You're a person who just needs help. And people who need help doesn't categorize them as people who are bad, or people who are less worthy, or people who have, uh, you know, or, or people who deserve to be looked down to look, people who deserve to be looked down on. You're not in that category. You're like me. I need help because of my diabetes. He needs help because of his mental, you know, challenges. Maybe some of you only now are beginning to experience these challenges in your head. I challenge you. I know Gab's going to add on to my answer, but my answer is make sure. That with every morning that rises, you know that every day is a brand new day that He is already in. He's already there and He's going to guide you. It doesn't mean that the troubles will not come. I say this boldly because I've met my own personal health challenges. Maybe not up here, but in here and in here. A bypass and cancer, mm -hmm. diabetes, hypertension, all of these things rolled into one body. That's a lot. But his challenges are different. But that's my answer. On a personal on a personal um on a personal note, two of the things that really kind of, you know, I, I believe hit when it comes to depression and anxiety and all these things is fulfillment and purpose. When you don't have those two aligned, you don't understand what your purpose is and how to be fulfilled and you know. I wanna uh, I wanna say this to two people. One is uh, the, the people that are struggling out there, the people that are going through something, it's just to, just this, all of this, what we're doing just comes to show that you're not alone in this. Um, and when you say, when I say you're not alone, it's not just you, it's the people around you. They're there for you. Um, you just have to be open. Now, I know it's, it's hard. Um, it was, it's hard for me until, the, until today. Sometimes I don't, you know, when they don't hear from me for a couple of days, they don't understand. They don't know that I'm already struggling and isolating myself. But you really are not alone in this. Um, it, I, it's the worst feeling to feel alone. It really is. Especially when it's something that people can't see. It's not tangible. You know, we're in, we live in a country na, hindi, drama lang yan. Hindi, wala mm. lang yan. Hindi, yeah. depressed ka na naman. Yun lang? Tapos yeah. ganun na siya? Exactly. You know, you know, and you know, sometimes, there are small things that, that can trigger me and if somebody else were to find out, they'd just be like, huh? Are you, are you kidding me? That, that's it? Um, but, Again, when I say that you're not alone, it's it's not just you. It's everybody around you. But you have to make it inclusive. You have to understand that you need to find this circle. You need to find these people that will uh, love you. Not just love you, but understand unconditionally. And that will be there. And thankfully, in, in my life, you know, I've found that within, within my family and within a very, very small circle of friends. Um, and the, circ the, second, the second body of people that I want to talk to are the people that may know people that are going through something. Sometimes all you just have, all you need to do is just to be present, just exist. 
I've I've spent time with friends who are just there. You know, we we watch movies in my house and we're not even talking. They're just there. They're just present. They don't they don't need to say anything. They don't need me. I've spent time in my house here. I don't live with my my parents, but when I do stay with them and I am going through something, sometimes I'm just lying down on the couch and my dad comes up to me. Hi, son. Are you okay? Yeah. There, 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 it doesn't have to be this deep conversation of oh you know sometimes being present is more than enough and and that is coming from a personal point of view um it helped it makes it a bit you know a, a bit more uh a bit easier to overcome and so when it, when it comes to mental health it's the same way it's there it's 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 real it's present it's within this but there are things that you can do to make things better Social distancing. Mom, you're the one that hugged me. <laughs> Ako wala. Wala <laughs> nung mental health. Hey, this has been Gary V and uh, with Gabriel Valenciano, and we are so thankful to all the Shop Live viewers for having us here today. Stay safe and God bless you all. Wow, it's such an honor to have Mr. Gary Valenciano and Gab Valenciano in our show today. Hello, Shop Live viewers, and to those who just tuned in, welcome. So today's topic is, mind you, taking our mental health to the front line. And back with us today is Dr. Joan. Hi, Doc. Oh, yes, welcome thank you. back. Thank, thank you for you. staying also, Thank you, my Doc. best. Thank you, thank you. Ngayon, Doc, yes. we are really gonna dive deeper. And can you help us emphasize no, the importance of seeking professional help? Yes. Uh, please, uh, to everyone, uh, if you are feeling uh, anything, now, all of these emotions mentioned earlier yes. and with those three red flags, mm-hmm. as mentioned earlier, wag matakot. No? Wag matakot, wag mangamba po. These are all again highly treatable, mm-hmm. highly treatable uh, medical problems and mental health concerns. Mataas po ang recovery rates of all of these. So please reach out. There is help available, and of course um, there are hotlines mm-hmm. and helplines available. And please don't be scared, because these are all kept in confidence, confidential lahat. So and always in private and. Mas makakatulong because when we are able again to address all of these mental health mm-hmm. concerns, then it follows. Na na physically would be better okay. as well, and the overall impact is that we will be able to take care of more people. Right. Thank you, Doc. Remember, guys, it's okay to seek help, ask for support. It's yes. totally fine. Like what Doc even said earlier, it's okay not to be okay. All right, Doc. You know, uh, because our viewers are very. Active, no, in terms mm-hmm. of asking questions. So we have a few questions from our viewers. Yes. They're very interested with this. Our first one is from Mian Reyes. Um, she is asking, how can you deal with cabin fever, lalo na po during this quarantine? Nako doki lang ako malaman yan. Yes, mm. yes. Yung cabin fever, kasi is that feeling, na right? right. you are um, medyo locked up or uh, confined, matagal, yeah. no? confined in a space. With or pwedeng with you or mm. with the family members yes. no, or those with you at home. So please, mas maganda pa rin if um, to help, make sure that we set a routine na? Mm-hmm. every day. We set a daily routine, follow a schedule para it can still give that semblance of normalcy uh-huh. to our daily lives. Na parang kahit na we are at home, right. we still have those activities mm-hmm. na which we can do. And at the end of the day, we celebrate those tasks that we are able to do even if it's a small task lang right. we still celebrate it of course mas maganda also if we have a specific nook or place in ah. our home for which na it, that's the parang safe place for ah. us na kahit na isang table it's a, a chair now when you sit there you can um, have your me time ah. oh, diba? me time you can listen to good music from your headset mm-hmm. headphones so 
that can also help. Meaning, I like that. Yeah, oh. meaning um, there are definitely a lot of things now which can help us go through this uh, extraordinary in a situation yes. now. I like what you said, Doc. I will do that at home because normally sa akin ngayon, I have a nook or a space for yes. work. But ah. it's so nice to point out that we should also have a nook or space for us lang. Yung parang me time area mo. Me time area. Yeah. Oh, and when uh, you are in that space, yeah. safe space mo, then you can do everything. Yes. Like, kung kailangan magpaano, no? magpa-beauty, uh -huh. uh -huh. or, or listen to or good meditate, music. Or meditate, right? Meditation, uh -huh. or watch movies, uh -huh. which can be uplifting or funny. Kasi yes. again, laughter pa rin is the best medicine. Exactly. Diba? I like that. Oh, oh, oh. So, oh, oh. positive. Mm -hmm. Now, do something positive. And of course, uh, the tasks that we can do also during this time to avoid this feeling yes. of cabin fever is to do activities, hobbies, uh -huh. revisit our hobbies and activities which make us feel good. Nice. So, ang dami ngayon, like a lot of us uh, now are rediscovering that ang galing pala natin magluto. Exactly. Diba? Nako, Dok, isa ko dyan. Ang hili ko yeah. mag-bake ngayon. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, also, find, the, find a stress outlet which make you feel good and Great. happy. All right, noted. Mm -hmm. Doc. Next, we have another question from one of our viewers, from Dre Sablay. He's he's asking Doc, what can I say to my friend who is experiencing mental health issues? So, napansin niya yung symptoms sa friend niya. Mm -hmm. So, tapos maybe lumapit din sa kanya yung friend niya. What are the things, kasi we want to be careful with these things, diba? Correct. What you want to say to your friend. Yes. Kasi it might push or pull them back. From all of this, right? What's really very important is uh, we continue to show our unconditional mm -hmm. support uh, to our friends who might be in need of someone to talk to during right. this time. In okay. fact, kahit na wala tayong sabihin mm -hmm. sa kanila, the mere fact na we are there to give them that listening ear, active listening in fact, and feeling that uh, empathy, mm -hmm. uh, like um, feeling kung ano ba yung what they are going through at this time, that alone is very helpful and therapeutic already. Yeah, just your mm -hmm. presence is presence. enough. No, and no need to say anything. Yeah, yeah, and the listening ear. Oh, yes, I Active think that's listening. important because we're used to talking and talking and talking. Correct. But the listening part is important when it comes to helping our friend. Of now, course. Doc, mm -hmm. we have, I think this will be our last question for our, from our viewers yes. you know, that I'll ask you directly. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens, man, Doc, kunyari, kung you notice the symptoms on yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So, from Rocky, he's asking, when do I know that I need professional help naman? Yes. Mm. Aha. So, as mentioned earlier, uh -huh. no, kasi nga, it's, uh, during this time, we may feel it's normal to feel all of these emotions, reactions yes. to the stress, to the challenges now presented by this pandemic. So, what's really important is, um, first, May mga things kasi na which she can do on her mm -hmm. own. Like for example, support system is very important kasi these are the people who are with you at home. Mm -hmm. So please reach out, talk to your right. family members or reach out to your friends. Ngayon na it's physical distancing mm -hmm. so we can reach out through social media, right. text tayo mm -hmm. or drop a line or two or we can have Zoom meetings yes. and we can still do our ano do, ano, mga kamustahan through mm -hmm. meetings. But if these pa rin, and of course, all mentioned, all of those mentioned, yeah, physical activity, yeah. stress outlet, etc. Loving yourself, Loving yes. yourself. thinking positive, correct, right. and uh, staying socially connected. Mm -hmm. But uh, if all of this, pa rin, uh, if we feel na medyo kulang pa rin, na, and right. if we really need to seek help, please, uh, please, please seek help, ask for help. Yes. Uh, it's okay to reach out. Uh, it, again, it's not a sign of a weakness of mm -hmm. one's character. Pag tayo po, I acknowledge that then. No, we need to talk to someone already. Right. Para we can get help yes. and uh, we can prevent any other further complications. Right, right. Doc, thank you again for gracing our for uh, gracing your gracing us today, right? Thank and you. sharing your expertise yes. with us. Thank you for having me. Yes, Doc. We really learned a lot from our session today. And right now, as we end this episode, do you have any parting message to our shop live viewers, Doc? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so again, during this very difficult time that we are all facing now, please remember it's okay yes. not to feel okay. All of the reactions, emotions, feelings that we are experiencing right now, mm -hmm. these are all normal reactions to an abnormal situation, which is the pandemic. Number two, please reach out, ask for help. If you feel the need to talk to someone, 
Again, this is not a sign of a weakness of one's character. Help is available and we are all in this together. Walang iwanan. We are all in this together and definitely in anything naman, in any life's uh, challenges, in any challenging situation, definitely we will all come out from this pandemic as stronger and better individuals, both personally and professionally. So maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you, Doc. Thank you for gracing us with your presence again today. And to, Do- uh, and to Gary Valenciano and Mr. Gab Valenciano for being so generous and sharing your life experiences and learnings with us today. It's really refreshing to talk about something that really, really matters. Something that really needs to be prioritized and taken to the front line. It's no other than our mental health. So feel free to re-watch the Shop Live Talk episode and you still have a chance to win our Get Active giveaway, Love Yourself giveaway, and don't forget our gift certificates from Watson's. So keep sharing this live, tag three of your friends, and comment in the comment section how you take care of your mental health. This has been your host, Bez Diolata, and this is Shop Live Talks. See you in our next episode. Bye guys! See you!